O2 were not the only network with a solution at Winter Wonderland Hyde Park. Vodafone also deployed a temporary mast with a large amount of capacity to serve their customers. A CCI MBA9F KE3A is once again the multi-beam antenna on the top of the mast like it was with O2. So this antenna has three low band beams and six high band beams. The former are broadcasting UGO9 and L08 and the latter have L18, L21 and L26 FDD. A thing to note is that the left 34 degree high beam is not connected on this multi-beam antenna with the feeders instead connected to a comscope antenna below. The comscope antenna will be a fairly standard RVVPX 305.10R3 probably with four high band ports and two low band ports all with 65 degree beam widths. Two of the high band ports are being used for L18, L21 and L26 in order to serve I think one of the main entrances to the Winter Wonderland event. Here is a schematic for the FDD technologies deployed on the site. So 900-800 MHz are diplexed into all the low band ports and then 1800, 2100 and 2600 are triplexed into all of the high band ports on the site. So all in all there's going to be an awful lot of radios feeding all of these beams. Despite the presence of four LTE carriers on this site, only triple carrier aggregation was seen. Here are some screenshots from Jake showing 371 and 1720. However, both these combinations do still provide a significant amount of bandwidth. So 317 being 40 MHz and 217 being 45 megahertz. Vodafone didn't just have FDD technologies deployed on this site either. They finally have got an Ericsson Massive MIMO panel broadcasting band 38, so L26 TDD. And in fact, last year they had Ericsson Massive MIMO deployed at Winter Wonderland on their temporary site, but it wasn't ever radiating, so it was very nice to see this band 38 Ericsson Massive MIMO working this time around and as can be seen from Jake's screenshots it was doing up to TM8 which allows two streams to the user device. Thanks for watching this video about Vodafone's temporary solution at Winter Wonderland Hyde Park and thanks to Jake for doing the field testing and some of the photography of Vodafone's equipment on the day.